Hi, welcome to part 9 of Blitz Basic Programming for Beginners. Um, it's going on a bit. I th originally thought there was going to be 7 or 8 parts to this, but um, what you'll find with writing any game really uh, is it will take a lot longer than what you think it's going to. So that's why a lot of people say with games development that uh, you need to be dedicated to it and not expect to write a game in, say, one night. Uh, although, to be honest, obviously, if you follow these tutorials, you could get through it in an hour and a half. Um, but then it's not really a fully complete game yet. We still haven't put on a main menu. Um, it's very, very simple. There's no background graphics going on or anything like that. Uh, but that's all stuff you can add on yourselves later on because uh, it's all pretty easy programming. And if you can follow the programming that we're doing for the main game loop here, then you'll be able to figure out the rest. Uh, I'll be doing some extra tutorials after we finish this. Um, just covering the base, other basics such as how to make main menus work um, and then we'll be looking at the basics of 3D using Blitz 3D. Okay, um, what we're going to do in this session is I want to be adding in a high score so for any high score obviously we want this to save to the disk save to the uh, computer's hard drive in between playing the game so when you start a new game you'll see the high score from last time you played the game so, just in uh, the top bit of code, just before it starts loading graphics and doing everything else, um, we're going to load the high score. Now, obviously, the first time we play the game, there won't be a high score, so there won't be a file on the drive that has a high score in it. Uh, obviously, your high score has to be saved to just a simple file. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use an if statement. Uh, we're going to call the file score.dat. The first thing we're going to do is try and read the file score.dat. So read file literally just opens up whatever file you specify. So it's just score.dat. But what we're going to say is if read file score.dat is zero, which means that it's tried to open a file but the file doesn't exist, then we set the high score, if there isn't a high score file, we'll just set the high score to 100. Else, so if it can read that file, then we will open it, so we'll call it file score, we'll say read file score.dat. So we've now opened the file score.dat to read it. Uh, that's we now refer to that as being file underscore score. So how, how how I have IMG for images, SND for sounds, and now using file for files in terms of our naming conventions for our variables. Uh, there's a command called readint, and what readint will do, if I press F1, it will simply ask me for what's called a stream. A stream is any kind of file or any kind of internet-based uh, file that you open. So I'm going to say read int file score. I need to assign that to a variable, so I'm going to say high score equals read int file score. And all that will do is it'll read the number out of the file score.dat um, and put it into the high score variable. I'll then close the file. File score and end the if statement. So just to go over that quickly again, if we can open the file score.dat to read it, if we can't, sorry, if we can't open the file score.dat to read it, if it returns zero, then we just set a high score to 100 and that'll be our first high score. Otherwise, if we can read it, then we read, we open the file, we call it file score, we read the high score by reading an integer, which is a number from the file score uh, file. We then close the file file score, which means we can open it on later on, and we go into our game. So in our game, we're going to draw the high score on the screen where we've been drawing our other bits of text. So draw high score. I'm going to put it in the top middle of the screen, which is going to be 320 
by say 50 that's our x and y coordinates remember high score high score and I'm going to center that by putting 1 and 1 on the end Just remember that means that it centers it on the x for the first one and it centers it on y for the second one which means that we sent it, which means 320 by 50 will be in the center of where it draws the text, so it won't be offset to the right or left. And now I'm just going to run it quickly to test it. So there we go, Got high score 100 at the top middle of the screen. And now what we want is for the high score to alter if our score goes higher than it. So what we'll do is, where we update our score here, which is in the loop that checks through each of the aliens, so if they get hit by a bullet, we'll say if score oops, more than high score, then high score equals score. So what we do is we check to see if the score that we've just got is higher than what the high score is. If it is then it sets the high score to be equal to your score. And then at the end of the game, what we want, when it's game over, just before it quits out, so as soon as it goes into game over, we'll save the high score. So let's put that in here, save high score. And it's kind of the opposite of uh, what we did before with reading it. So again, we open file score, we call it. We're going to call it write file now instead of read file. That's score.dat. You don't have to call it dot dat, you can call it whatever you want. It's just good practice for any data files to do with your game to be called dot dat. That way Windows won't associate them with any other kind of program and try and open them in Word or Excel or whatever. So I'm then going to write int, which is writing an integer, which is a number. And the argument for this is file you're writing it into, or the stream you're writing it into in this case, which is the file, and what the integer is, so it's high score. And then close the file, file, score. Okay, that's it, so if I run it, we've got a high score 100, so quick as I can I'm going to score higher than that, <laughs> if I can hit them. Come on, one more. Okay. Okay, so I've now got 110 as my high score. So if I now die, if they ever drop any bombs on me, which I'm hoping they will, I need three bombs, come on. Ah. I need to make this game harder. Okay, second bomb. Another bomb. Okay, it's game over. So now. If I can now go back into the game, in fact before I go back in the game, I'm just going to open the directory that we're running this from, and you see I've now got a score.dat file in there, which is very small, it's only 4 bytes, and if you open it in something like Notepad, you will get a letter, and uh, the reason for that is because it stores it uh, in computer code, which basically means it doesn't write it in as a normal number, as you've seen in Notepad, so a player can't just open that file and put in their own high score, so in a way that's kind of cool because it encrypts it, in a way. Although, if you know what you're doing, obviously you could change that quite easily. But now, if I run the game again, high score now starts at 110 because it's read that file, read that score from that file. And that is how you put high scores into your game. I haven't got time to cover any more in this tutorial because I'm already over 9 minutes. Um, I'm not sure what to do in the next tutorial yet, so you'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> okay, I'll see you then. Bye.